Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Hey everybody, welcome back to Miles Edgeworth Trials and Tribulations, I mean Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations, mm -hmm. even though Phoenix Wright's not really in this case. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing Turnabout Beginnings, where it's a Mia Fey case, and even though it's the fourth case, it's only, we go, we go straight to court. Immediately which is stupid. I was looking forward to another investigation period after like a million years of him like, Rah! and like people throwing pigeon seed at us, and stuff. Yeah. Anyhow, we're cross-examining Gumshoe still. Uh, there's an eyewitness. eyewitness for the incident. Who is this eyewitness? She's a college student. A female college student? That's right. Meaning she's female and a college student, ma'am. She doesn't do well in front of other people, so I came to testify for her. Maybe so, but as the attorney for the defense, I have the right to cross-examine her. For the time being, we're not relying on the witness's statements. That is all. W what is that supposed to mean? The prosecution has other, more decisive evidence. Our case doesn't rest on the vague testimony of a female college student. A f oh, oh, different voice. A female college student, eh? <laughs> <laughs> You suggested the Owen Wilson yeah, voice. Yeah. Alright, I'll do that. It means she's female and a college student, sir. If you absolutely must hear her testimony, you'll have to give us a good reason why. Ugh. Please tell us about the more decisive evidence in question. <laughs> I think that's my favorite voice. <laughs> this photo was accidentally taken by the witness. It shows it's her wearing the scarf. It shows a guy escaping from prison in Carmen San Diego. Um, <laughs> Where in the world has she been? <laughs> the victim is wearing a scarf in that photo, all right. So, about the witness who took this photo. What was this person doing all the way in the mountains? She was taking photos of wildflowers, apparently. Ooh, wildflowers. They're so pretty. I, I just feel like that's so, that's such a lame excuse. I mean, it could be legitimate. Maybe it's Sophie from Howl's Moving Castle. <laughs> she well, yeah, has she the really flower likes, business really in, at the end, at but least. that's But that's different. This isn't her taking pictures of flowers. That's her like, oh, this is my job. Like, I have the flowers. You could open up a nice flower shop. <laughs> no, she likes them. Yeah, she likes them, but she's not, like, obsessed. More in the movie than in the book. More in the movie than in the book. <laughs> there are many unusual types of flora on that mountain, Miss Faye. Okay. People in the area say it's because of the spirits that live there. Ooh. S spirits? Now that you mention it, this photo, this cloudy fog-like thing, is that a ghost? I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this doesn't work for the it's judge perfect. at all. Just leave it. <laughs> uh, no, Your Honor, no. I don't think it's a ghost. It was drizzling that day, unfortunately. It's a little hard uh, to see what's going it's on. It's pretty... It's a lot better than when they were like, here's the photo that Lotta Hart took of the scene. It's, like, it's fog. It's fog. <laughs> this is decisive evidence that Miles has shot, shot the guy. Right. Yep. Drizzling, huh? That's right. There was a light rain coming down. The whole place was dreary. But not as dreary as the mood that's in this courtroom right now. Haha. <laughs> Looks like a cold front just moved in. In any case... The point is that the area was quite damp. There was even some fog. I even slipped and fell while I was on the bridge. It was really something. Did you fall 40 feet and survive? No! He just slipped on the bridge and fell oh, on it. Oh, okay, I'm assuming, like, slipped and fell, like, fell off bridge. No, he usually, wouldn't be alive. You don't <laughs> normally walk on a bridge and suddenly fall. And not die. I feel like... If you're walking on while on the bridge and you slip, you fall on the bridge. Sometimes. Almost or, always, okay. unless you're literally walking towards the edge and there are no guardrails. And it's like a slip and slide is on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the criminal shoved the victim down from behind and stabbed her in the back. Okay. Is that part of the witness's testimony as well? Of course it is. He pushed the victim hard in the back and then she fell down right on her stomach. Hmm. I remember that happening once myself. It was really brutal. <laughs> <laughs> no, this really doesn't work. I, it's great. <laughs> I feel like it, the judge I've always pictured to be really loud. Well, but this is funny. 
It's like it's like when you give somebody a voice that you wouldn't expect. It's great. Yeah, but I try to take this at least serious with the voice. We tone. literally just were saying, oh, why don't we give this guy a voice every time we? I was debating that, but. What other voice would be good? I don't like. I just like my normal loud voice. Honestly. No, but he sounds like an old man. He's not old. He's like young and bearded and. He's not young. He's in his fifties, probably. Okay, he has blonde hair. Blonde's grain. Most people don't keep blonde hair past Maybe like. He dyes it. Most dudes don't dye their hair. Bro. It's not. Well, it's his beard. And most he, people he, don't he, buy. Most people don't dye their beard. Maybe he's self-conscious about getting older. <laughs> hey, so I'm going in for my uh, haircut, but could you help me uh, dye my beard? Uh, sure. I just don't see that happening. Like, it's more likely that it's like. You also like, don't oh, have a beard. I, okay, well, I don't see it around. As someone with a seven-inch beard myself. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows if I do have a seven-inch beard, beard or a six-inch beard or five-inch beard. Or a no-inch beard or a stubby hey. beard or a beard as long as a Gaston. ZZ Top. <laughs> Are you talking about seeing someone getting pushed or were you the one getting pushed? I mean, I was thinking about that a really long time. Or does it mean that you pushed someone down like once? Might like, or like that, that once. once. <laughs> like once. With my his mind-boggling tales and the wonder and the way he says brutal, I wonder if he's Canadian. I can I could try Canadian accent. Ha. Huh. Save your nasty look for the right person. Huh? Take a look. Poor baby. The court record seems to have wet itself. Hey! Watch where you spill your coffee! Court record, huh? I don't like his condescending attitude. Yeah. That must have been when the scarf fell off. Hold it. So in other words, there was a struggle between the criminal and the victim, huh? That's what the witness said. Well, it looks like she didn't remember about the scarf. But from what she said, it sounded like a pretty violent fight, ma'am. The area was wet from the rain. The bridge was probably wet too. Which would explain why the scarf was all covered in mud, but... There's something about this testimony that's still bothering me. Heh. <laughs> Talk about a surprise. I had no idea there was a photo. So, what do I do? You really still believe him? Mr. Crybaby, I mean. Of course I do! Huh. <laughs> so the little kitten believes in fairy tales, what? huh? How about you go over to the prosecution side, huh? In that case, the answer is obvious. If what you believe is the truth, then that means that somewhere hidden in that testimony is a contradiction. Yeah. One huge contradiction waiting to be discovered. That's your chance. Why couldn't you have brought Maya with you? Um, because Maya at this point is only 13. Why and doesn't know anything about law. Why couldn't you bring Grossberg with his, um, <laughs> because he's Because he's drunk <laughs> in his bed or Hanover or something. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, it's probably the, that's why the scarf fell or something. Pres no, that's this is the one that he <coughs> was alluding to. Okay. I Shove don't the remember this down case super well, so... Yeah, because nobody liked it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, people adore this case. People adore this case? Why would you adore... Okay, at I least like, from what I've seen right now, it I hate how it the... started. Well, you like the investigation periods more. Yeah. I don't like how it's shorter than the other cases. Is this, like, only one trial period? In yeah, it's the same length as the first case, basically. This is only one trial period? Yeah. You don't even have an investigation? Nope. This bull... <sighs> This is so dumb! This is literally like, hey, how can we make a game with less content but still charge the same price? I know! We'll just make the fifth case, or this is this is the fourth? Yeah. We'll just make the fourth case one trial period! This is and so this carries over to a lot of the other games, which is, is really dumb. Dumb! I like investigating. I don't I do have a friend who doesn't like investigating. I don't know why. It's so easy. You just talk to everyone. Yeah, it's so easy. You just you... have your older brother do everything. No, but if I was playing this, I'd just be like, talk to this person. Move and do this thing. Talk to another person. Present all the evidence possible. Like, you figure it out versus this. It's like, what's it gonna be? Sheriff. <laughs> or no, I, I guess what... it's sheriff trouncing, trouncing time. time. <laughs> all right. Uh, Shove the victim from behind. Stabbed in the back. Well, it says stabbed in the back. Died from blood loss. Dusty I still map. think that the scarf should have been covered in blood. That's my uh, opinion. Got stabbed in the back, not Got the neck. Got stabbed in the back. If you fall over, 
And there's a lot of blood gushing it's out. It's already said that she was wearing a really heavy coat and that yeah. the, because the knife stuck inside the back of her neck. Oh. I mean, the, back. the back of her neck. And because it, the knife got stuck in her back, but d they didn't pull it sure. out. Okay, there wouldn't be very okay. Much, check much the police loss. materials again. The autopsy? No, I said check the police materials, the, po the one before. There the, you go. This is the victim's note, not the police material. What, what the said, heck would that even go be? Go back! Police materials! That's a weird way to say it. That's why I look. That was the first words a, I saw. It's a note, not a okay, material. Okay, victims know. Anyway, um, tell her this time the whole truth must come out. Falls at that bridge. So I guess her plan was she was gonna go to the bridge, talk to this dude, and then afterwards talk to Dahlia. Since I'm guessing she got blackmailed or like, hey, I kidnapped your daughter, your daughter, your sister, your that person meet me at this bridge um there is absolutely no possible way dahlia is her daughter because yeah that dahlia be is i believe 19 or 18 okay. at this point and valerie's 20 that's beside the point so dahlia is 18 the girl who died was like 14 you said yeah so who's this other chick i don't know um we might uh, find next, out next later. thing okay crime photo crime photo yep that's fine that we already presented that the scarf? We can't examine it. Nope. The and then the witness's photo. photo. It's probably... Can we tell which side of the bridge is broken? Uh, the side beyond her. Behi behind her. Yeah, behind, behind her. her. That's the broken side. I would say probably the photo is what we need to present, but I don't know why. Okay. Let's, um... Hang on. I need to check. Is it Shift F1 to save state? Yeah, Shift F1. Okay. <sighs> I wanted to make sure I didn't accidentally load an okay. old state, basically. No. Oh, that wasn't the one I was going to present. You was... said the crime photo. Oh. I meant the other photo, but it's fine. Well, the, we, it's we're going to get it anyways. So at the time of the crime, there was a light drizzle coming down, correct? Yeah, and fog too. Just a generally soggy atmosphere. Well, I have evidence that that doesn't go with the soggy atmosphere. But this is a photo of the... <laughs> no, hang on. Let me try, oh, let me try a Canadian accent. That's so great. But this is a photo of the victim's body that was found in the car trunk. <laughs> 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 that's, no, that's worse. You're going to offend every Canadian. Um, but they're so nice they won't mind. They're, they're very nice. They give us maple syrup. And <laughs> what? Okay, let's not get to it. <laughs> They like their hockey, it's true. But this this is a photo uh, but of This the is a photo of the victim's body that was found in the car trunk. Considering the conditions at the scene of the crime, something isn't right. Well, by all means, please enlighten us as to what isn't right. What is it about this photo of the trunk that doesn't fit with the conditions that day? Uh everything's dry. Her coat's dry, her hair's dry, the car isn't wet. Um, Why is it too water on the ground? Naturally, the answer is right around here, I think. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, it seems to me Miss Fay could use a trunk herself. What? One that she could hide all her bitter memories from this trial in, that is. Ho 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 ho, you truly are a genius. A genius of sarcasm and wordplay. Oops. It looks like I really put my foot in my mouth that time. Just relax. Lick your wounds clean and then go after him again, kitten. No matter how bitter the memory, it can never be as bitter as dark black coffee. Okay, come on. Okay, Mia. Oh, right, Mia, you've got to think harder this time. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Her clothes are dry. Take that! Naturally, the answer is right here. The victim's coat? As far as I can see, there's nothing strange about it. That's exactly what's strange. Remember the testimony. What were the conditions on the bridge that day? It was drizzling and foggy. Dusky bridge was all wet. If the victim really had fallen down on her stomach on top of the bridge, then the front of her coat should have been covered in mud. <clears throat> that, that's exactly right. The other day I fell on a muddy street and my gorgeous playoff beard was befouled. Okay then. I do admit that the crime scene was quite wet that day. However, that doesn't mean that the top of the bridge itself was muddy. If your honor had fallen in the shower instead of on a muddy street, 
His glorious hockey beard, pride of the legal league, would be wet, but not muddy. Fortunately, I have yet to test that. Still, your point is well taken. Can you prove that the surface of the bridge was muddy that day? The surface of the bridge, huh? Ha! <laughs> a real man wouldn't stand for a taunt like this. Neither would a real woman. Feminism! Okay, <laughs> of course I can! <laughs> Yeah, put him in his place. Here's the evidence that proves the surface of the bridge was money. My attorney's badge! I almost said money. <laughs> the entire surface of the bridge is just covered in money. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. What is it? Your timing is terrible. If you present that evidence, it would be like... Like jumping off of a 100-story building into a bubbling pool of magma. After trying a 10-ton boulder... After tying a 10-ton boulder around your neck. What is that supposed to mean? To put it simply, it would be suicide. Why didn't he just put it simply in the first place? Is your little chat finished? Can we move on now? Y yes, I've changed my mind. Life is short, Miss Faye. Hurry it up already. <laughs> Life can pass by you pretty Hurry quickly, me. you know. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. The defense is now prepared to show its evidence. All right. Well, I mean, there's the scarf that's covered in mud. Boom. The evidence is this scarf. Ah. It should be obvious if the scarf fell onto the bridge and got this muddy. It means that the bridge was obviously covered in mud. Ah! No, I can't be outwitted by this novice bimbo. You're also novice. Hey, same to you, buddy. <laughs> Marty and Mia are the same person, basically. Yeah. Miss she's more put together than me. She's also went through law school and is she's also like, like twenty something. And I'm not. Yeah, <laughs> Miss Faye's assertion makes perfect sense to me. I do admit that there appears to be a contradiction between the con condition of the victim's coat and her scarf. However, the real question is why is there a contradiction? Huh? For every contradiction, there exists an explanation. Let's look at what the explanation in this case may be, shall we? Uh, all right. It's not like he's really giving me a choice here. Ha. You're doing pretty good for a little kitten. Yeah, shush. Mr. Armando! No matter what he says, a contradiction always comes down to a lie. It's either the victim discovered in the trunk, the witness's photo showing the defendant and the victim, or the witness's testimony that stated she saw the moment of the murder. Just relax and think it over. It's pretty simple, isn't it? The false evidence is one of those three. I feel like I can't do the Godot voice that I wanted to. Darn it. Uh, well, if, if there's one that you've heard, show it to me later and I'll, like, want to hear it. No, it's it's a voice I've heard in oh, my head. Oh, it's a voice you've heard in your head. Not, yeah. some, not a let's No, I've been there, done that, where I'm like, I have the perfect voice idea in my mind, then I'm like... <laughs> I definitely did not do out. the Zinio voice to what I wanted. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you so hard you make your ancestors dizzy. Humph, what you just said just now, I'm not sure I like that. That that wasn't me, Your Honor. It was the coffee... <laughs> Aficionado. Aficionado over here that said it. It would have been funnier if she just coughed. Coffee... <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> this court is not in the habit of accepting false evidence, you know. Blame it on him, Your Honor. He's the one trying to slip false evidence into the court. Ooh, Edgeworth. <laughs> He's done that. We all know it. <laughs> He's updated every autopsy <laughs> report. <laughs> He's like, wait, I He's forgot like, to mention. Bellboy, don't say this unless they specifically <laughs> ask you. you. <laughs> of course. So. Uh, bed making. It's like you can't talk about bed making. You can't talk about changing the sheets, <laughs> and you can't talk about the check-in. <laughs> and you can't talk about delivering her a Twinkie. <laughs> okay. No, it was coffee. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, okay. No, the um. <laughs> Uh, I was gonna say something profound, and now I can't think of it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, I, I thought I was gonna say something really... <laughs> but we won't let him. We'll expose his evidence as the flimsy scam it really is. Yes. The false evidence in this case is the... Witnesses photo, body in the trunk, witnesses testimony. Well... <laughs> I'm just trying to connect the dots in my brain. Trunk, body was not wet. 
Right. Uh, that sounds weird. Um, and then <laughs> the um, scarf is covered in mud, and the bridge was misty by the <laughs> thing. So I think the body in the trunk is fake. Not that she's fake. I'm saying maybe they staged a fake body. Not, not like, well, okay. You know what I mean? Like, maybe all right, there's well, all we'll the try things. It. I'm just trying to look through here. If the victim really did try to repel her killer, and if she did fall down on the bridge, then you would expect her coat to be dirty. Therefore, the body that was found in the trunk of the car, it was not the body. No, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> I was saying that it was, was her body, but they, like, cleaned her up. I don't know how that... Why would no. they do that? <laughs> because it would make it look like it would have all these contradictions. But at the same time, how would it be like, oh, I need to get this Why coat dry he... cleaned? <laughs> and then it's like, oh, there's a lot of blood stains on this. Yeah. And yeah. also, there's no dry cleaner around. And I know. No electricity I, I just, around. that wasn't what I was trying to say. I was trying to say something else. <laughs> that was absolutely her. Okay, well, it's not as bad as the telltale, like, point and click adventure games. Where it's like, do you want to say this or this? And I'm like, oh, I'll say this. And it's like, that's not what I want. Say, where it's yeah. like, oh, I'll say, like, it'll be okay. It's like, well, it'll be it's fine fine knowing you, you and how terrible you are. It's like, oh, I didn't <laughs> say that. You're twisting the words. Yeah. <laughs> what do you have to say to that, Mr. Edgeworth? <sighs> Objection. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Not only a whisper, but he mixed in a sigh, too. Yeah, I know. Valerie Hawthorne was more than a simple meter maid, she was a sergeant. There's absolutely no chance that a mistake about her identity could be made. Siblings, we've already uh, had... Th uh, that was a great Mia voice. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm used to Phoenix being the uh, one. Duh. I guess he's right. <laughs> God just took up chain smoking no, there. That's what I was gonna say. I was like, what if Godot was made, but instead of like having him drink coffee, he just smoked all the time. Hence why I was coughing like the... <laughs> <laughs> he's just smoking all the... Smoking her Smoking face. all the coffee? <laughs> no. <laughs> From this point on, Miss Faye, I'll penalize you for making unsubstantiated okay, accusations. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Ugh, don't do it, Mia. Don't cry until you get home. In any case, this court is not in the habit of accepting false evidence. Alright, so... Well... Mia was an idiot and didn't say what you wanted, but yeah. also what you wanted to say was inc just as stupid. Okay, well, <laughs> what I was trying to say is there's the scarf that has mud, and there's the photo that has rain, but then there's the one thing that doesn't have the rain with it. That has the, that doesn't have the drowsy weather, and it's the body in the trunk. But otherwise, it's like, what would it be? You could fake the scarf, sure. The scarf isn't one of the options. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, okay. It was the photo? I just okay. realized that. It's the testimony. Yes! Okay, I thought that said scarf! I was like, How did you get scarf out of no, witness's I was, testimony? When I was thinking about these stuff in my brain, I was like, okay, there was the scarf that we had mentioned, there was the photo we had mentioned, and then there was the other, there was the body in the trunk. Which one is the false one? And I'm like, well, there's one that doesn't go with the other three, so it must be that. Yeah, that would make a lot more sense. <laughs> yes! My bad! <laughs> About the photo that the prosecution claims was taken by a witness? It was photoshopped! That's why I was like, can't be photoshopped that quickly. It certainly seems to show a man in a prison uniform and a woman in a coat. However, we can't tell any more than that from the photo. Are you saying the people in the photo may not be the victim and the defendant? W well, that's certainly a possibility. So perhaps it was another prisoner and policewoman? I admit, people have their quirks. Perhaps they were part of a role-playing group. Well, I suppose that's also possible, I guess. You messed up again, kitten. Mr. Armando, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> there should be something else that's even more suspicious. Now think the whole thing over again. Mia, stand Ms. your ground! Miss Frey, you're such an idiot! <laughs> <laughs> Mia, stand your ground and Mia, stand up to this idiot that's drinking coffee. <laughs> not Edgeworth. <laughs> no, he's not nearly as bad. He's doing his job. Literally, Armando's just like... <laughs> <laughs> you suck. You wow. suck. <laughs> <laughs> like, how did he ever up? take this guy? <laughs> yeah. It's a no-brainer. Obviously, it's the witness that's suspicious. During his earlier testimony, the detective pointed out a crucial fact. The criminal shoved the victim down from behind and stabbed her in the back. Now, is that testimony exactly what the witness claims to have seen? Yeah. That's what the witness told us. 
That testimony is filled with holes. After all, the victim's coat isn't dirty at all. Hmm, that's true. Ha! It's not just true, it's the truth. If there was a truly decisive witness in this case, I'm certain that boy Wonder over there would have called them in the first place. Your Honor, the defense requests to cross-examine the eyewitness. The, the testimony presented so far is not only vague, but contradictory as well! Well, Mr. Edgeworth, it appears that we'll need to hear from your mystery witness after all. <sighs> <sighs> you should brace yourself for the brutal truth. Oh, is she going to be crazy? <laughs> that would be funny. Your Honor, the prosecution has no intention of hiding the witness from the court. We are prepared to present our witness at any time. She's just, she like just does sign language. And then you have, it's like, hope you know sign language so you can get the facts. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Please bring forth your witness at this time. Yeah. What Mr. Edgeworth said kind of worries me. What does he mean by the brutal truth? Now let's proceed with the testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, please go right ahead. Thank you, Your Honor. The prosecution summons the woman who saw the events that day with her very own eyes. Please tell me it's not a repeat character. Please tell me it's not a repeat character. This is it, Mia. The battle begins here. Witness, what is your name and occupation? Come on! I didn't want her back! Sorry. You also look exactly the same. It's a year before the... The oh. first one. Oh, that makes more... I thought it was, like, five years before the first one. No, one year like, before the first one. She looks second. exactly the same. Yeah. Everyone's so silent that I can hear their hearts going pitter-patter. Uh, oh, bring back the old Will Wilson voice for this. Part. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. When I look at you, how can I put it? <laughs> <laughs> you look as scrumptious as a double-double and a dozen donut holes. <laughs> I feel like I want to hurry up and hand down a verdict just to have a bite. Hey, hey, not so fast. That's super creepy, Judge. Okay, I want to... Get a I new ever, judge in here. If I ever read Owen judge Wilson, Judy I want to be like, can you read this for me? <laughs> Please don't. No, be, so many people come up to actors and they'll be like, can you read this? <laughs> hey, Hayden Christensen, can you sign my jar of sand? <laughs> you I know, can't. I know, you know people, people have, have done, done that. that, actually. <sighs> As I said before, this witness is very sensitive and delicate. Uh, I would ask the court to please exercise care when addressing her. Yeah, whatever. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. You are a true gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Faye, you can learn a lot from this man. <laughs> He's just got a split personality. <laughs> <laughs> he talks angry to us, but, like, nice to, to the other Dahlia. people. <laughs> He's such a gentleman, he sure doesn't act like one to me. Um, sir... Hmm? Oh, yes, my dear. This is my first time, so I'm sure I'll make a lot of mistakes. Anyway, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for all the trouble I might cause. Hmm, not at all. It's no trouble at all. Now then, may we please have your name and occupation? My name is, um... Melissa Foster! That is absolutely <laughs> not your name! <laughs> what if it is? <laughs> Maybe it is cloning she, experience. Maybe she did. No. Maybe she did, and then she like this trial was so terrible for her. She's like, I have to change my name T to the same last name as the person who died. <laughs> yeah, sure. No, it could be like an eeny miny situation here. I'm a college student, a freshman in the literature department. Yeah, because she was a sophomore. Was she? In, in, I thought she was uh, a turnabout memories. I thought she was a freshman. Anyway. Nope. Cool. She was held back. <laughs> she, she wasn't was very back. academic. <laughs> Too busy killing people. <laughs> you were on the scene when the unfortunate event occurred, correct? And you were the one who took this photo? Is that accurate? Ah! How can you be so mean? Now see here, what are you doing shoving that in her face like that? <laughs> huh? B but it's just a photograph. It's not like it's something dangerous. Next time I'll be forced to penalize you. Uh-oh. I don't like the turn that this has taken. 
This is like the kids who like they'll fall two feet and they'll be like Aah! and like cry their eyes out even though they're like absolutely fine. <laughs> just to like get attention. Ow, my arm broke. He's probably faking, faking it. No, it's like the opposite of that. Yeah. You, you know what I mean. Nowadays, kids are kind of wimps. So I've seen, I've seen a bunch Shots of- Shots fired. No, it's true. There's all of these things where it's like, now like people want to ban sledding because it's too dangerous. People want to ban climbing trees because it's too dangerous for kids. It's dumb. But anyway. You know what? If we had more scraped knees and bruises. Yeah. Yeah. You learn from your scraped knees and bruises. Yeah. You do. It, and it's, it's like, important. um, it's, it, yeah, coddling your kids is not good. Because, like, uh, studies have shown that, like, kids who eat dirt have way better amusement systems yeah. as adults than kids who don't. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> she staring at me? I must have eaten dirt as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Mia or you personally? Um, maybe both. <laughs> I, I know I ate bugs, I feel like, but... <laughs> you just announced that to literally yeah. the entire history of the world. Yeah. Nobody cares. Um, and you would be... Huh? I'm the defense lawyer. My name is Mia Fey. I see. So you are... Now then, young lady, could you please give us your testimony? <laughs> Wait, I just realized this is Owen Wilson meets, like, Smokey the Fire Engine. Yeah. Hey, Pot Pot. Oh, hey, Pot Pot, that's what I probably was thinking of. <laughs> yes, your honor. I'll do my best. Maybe I'll give him a smoky voice I hope that's instead. the same voice. I don't even remember. It's been so and You know what, it's okay, because I remember your Dahlia voice was kind of jumping around a bit. <laughs> but that's her. She's quite literally like, ah! one minute, and then, like, the other, she's like, ha ha. And then the next minute she's like, <laughs> like the and, then, and then and then at the end she incinerates her butterflies with her gaze. The witness's photograph. I I was using my camera to take some pictures of wildflowers. Then I noticed there were two people standing up on the suspension bridge. Suddenly they just started fighting. That's when I hurried and took the photo that shows this crucial moment. And right after that I called the police. That's it. Well, I mean. I guess you would have a camera, but... Every witness has a camera. No, but what I'm saying is if she was literally... Let's say she was literally going up. She's like, la-di-da, I'm going to take pictures of flowers. Um, I don't know why I have that voice, but I think that's just the voice for like... That's like the peaches taunting Melee. Peaches er, got it. la 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 la, la, la. <laughs> Which is one of the most annoying <laughs> taunts in the whole um, game. Yeah, but she's going up. She goes up. She's like pictures of flowers ooh, tulips and then she looks over and she's like ah! and there's like this thing happening and she immediately snaps into uh instant mode and is like i'm gonna take a picture put it on instagram no <laughs> that didn't exist <laughs> i just saw this dude murder her <laughs> hmm. i wonder if that happens now actually that not, better not <laughs> and not that i'm saying but i'm saying like maybe I know there's, like, dumb things with Snapchat, but... <laughs> like, I know... everything on it. <laughs> yeah, but, um, for Instagram, I'm curious if, like, you take a picture and post it, could that be used as, like, evidence in a trial? Oh, I'm sure. It's public property. Yeah, it's... Wow. By the By way... By the way, <laughs> where were you standing when the incident occurred? I believe the map would be of help here. Okay, this will be good. Um, I was standing right over... Here. Well, there's an entire cliff blocking your way. But I she was... could see towards the bridge. Though. Yeah, but also, um, what's her face would be standing over a literal hole. No, she'd be close to the back. It would be not really it. hard to see. They would be like within 12 inches of each other, which the photo did not look like that, at least. Mm. I was standing in a beautiful field surrounded by tall cliffs. 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 So you took the photo from that location, eh? I brought the camera I was using at the time, just like Mr. Edgeworth asked me to- What? Oh, okay. I was like, wait, Mr. Edgeworth asked you to go up the hill, take pictures of flowers. <laughs> I really, really need a good picture of lavender. She's like, okay! <laughs> She's like, yeah, she, hi she, gets, she gets hired for weddings and bar mitzvahs and people wanting pictures of wildflowers. <laughs> Ho, 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 what a cute camera, just like its owner. It looks pot, like pot. a Polaroid camera. Back in my day, we didn't even have video games. All right then, Miss. Oh wait, no, this is Miss. <laughs> All right then, Miss Faye, time for your cross examination. But 
But I warn you, make the witness cry again and you'll feel the wrath of my gavel. Whatever. She cries at the drop of the hat. That can't be on us. That's what I'm saying. It's like <laughs> the child who falls like two feet and like completely cries. <laughs> well, we'll have to cross-examine her next time. Eh, sure. Thanks for watching, everybody. Look forward to that. I bet. I, I hope Marty does, at least. Yeah, I'll You get to voice to two it. characters? Yeah, nice. it's That's nice. Pretty I good. just... <sighs> two comeback characters. This is like all... I mean, the only original fair, character the in this past. case... The only original character in this case thus far has been the defendant, the jail guy. And the victim. Yeah. That's it. Yep. Wow. Oh, and technically the judge who... No, who he was in case two. Yeah, if you didn't pay attention... He's, no, you have to get that part of case two. Anyways, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.